I think for me, it was just uh, thinking too much, you know, thinking about stuff that I couldn't control outside of the game. Uh, you know how the game is, you know, it's a lot of, you know, you know tipping, a lot of this and all of that. And when you got, you know, a great team, you know, in front of you, you can't think about all that. You think about, you know, executing your pitches, you know, trusting your stuff. And I, I, I think actually I was just, you know, I was not focused and, and the main thing that it was pitching. Yeah, so for me personally, I've dealt with tipping. Some of it was mechanical with, like, mine was set up. On a here, I would do you know a fastball, and that started to leak into what I was thinking about. So instead of you know I'm facing Bryce Harper, uh, runners on second and third, and it's a one-two count. Instead of thinking on where I can execute, I'm in my you know setup, and I'm thinking about all right, what am I doing to make sure he doesn't know what's coming? Is that kind of what you're talking about, where you were thinking about things other than executing your pitch? Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, from from the why not where everything was good, you know. But when uh, you know I came in and uh, uh, base, that was the problem. I, I started thinking about, oh, let me see if my glove is right. You know, if you're looking, let me see the third base coach if he's you know not looking here. And it was a lot of you know different things that you know this year I approached it early so I can you know deal with that in the, in the spring training. Not had to deal in the season. What is it that you took into this off season that's going to push you for success in this year? Uh, we spent a lot of time and you know. Um, Labs and stuff like that. We took a trip to Arizona. You know, uh, dry land was really good for us. Nice. Uh, me and my agent, and actually, I met Hefner there too. So uh, we were there for a couple of weeks working and, and what was you know, the best pitches to throw and, and the best location too. You have one of the best fastballs, especially as a starter, in any, in any starting pitcher in the game today. Uh, you've had a lot of success with Velo. You talked about four seamer. Can you show us your, your four seam grip? Yeah, this is my uh, four seam grip. And the problem is sometimes I get, because I throw, you know, my piece that I throw a lot is my slider, so I get around. So I have to, to stay more on the back of the ball, you know, try to trust the, the, the hand behind, the, my hand behind the ball. Horseshoes on the outside, you're trying to get that true four seam spin and that ride to yeah. stay up at the top of the zone. Yeah, exactly. And I used to, you know, looking for, you know, velocity, you know, it was like either I was here, but it was fastball. I was, you know, You're coming out. Did, yeah, exactly. And this was the problem also too with my fastball command last year uh, that I struggled a little bit too because I was trying to push it too much, and then it was this, and I was behind, and then it was a it was a problem. Okay, so on your fastball, you're thinking about being behind that ball and pushing it. What are you thinking on your slider? Same thing. And the thing is, like, I had to. My my wrist had to be close here. Okay. If I do this, it's gonna be a bad one. So I try to do care behind, and then always my wrist had to be locked. So locked in. Yeah. Okay. Locked in. Yeah. Where were you when I wanted to throw a slider? <laughs> I think that's a that's something I've never heard before. Yeah. And that's so you when you come through, you stay on top of it, and it gets that downward plane. Actually, uh, Betanza showed me that. You know, well, you both like, have those giant hands, so that's. So he told me like I, I got a lot of problems like doing like commanding, like having the same shape on my slider. Yeah, that so consistent. Any, yeah. Yeah, predictable shape. And he told shape. me like just do this a little bit and try to do this every time. It's gonna be you know around the same 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 shape. Your changeup, I think, is an underappreciated pitch because everybody wants to talk your fastball slider. I think it's one of your key pitches. Can you talk to us about your changeup yeah. first with the grip? I think my, my change of last year I think was my, my best pitch because that was the only pitch I was throwing. I was feeling like every time I threw that, that change is going to be either a swing and miss or a ground ball. Uh, I throw like a two seam, okay. two seam grip. So it's either moving down or moving in. Uh, and also working in the same you know, arm speed. Now, last year, Baseball Savant said that you had a little bit of a cutter. Did you start to mix that in? Yes. Was that something that you're going to deploy? Last year, I was looking for a pitch you know, to get people out. I started throwing a cutter. And it was like, I agreed with the same way, just not as deep. I get more in the middle. So you, I go here, I go more back in okay. my cutter. And, and then you... Yes, same pitch. Like possible, do you yes. still worry about your wrist lock yes, with the same yes, thing? And then you, if I don't do it, it's gonna be like a. So spinner. I'm very excited. I know Mets fans are excited for you to be a part of this team. I think you're gonna have a tremendous year. I just wanted to say thanks for doing this and good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.